So really quick, I want to test out the little intro that I made. Let's see if it works, if the beat is off or whatever. Sorry. Let's see. Okay, hopefully that worked and it didn't look super ghetto and the music wasn't off. Uh, yep, I don't have my red lips and makeup, but I'm tired, so it is what it is. So hello everyone, if you are here, thank you for listening and joining in. So for some reason, Dr. Jolly West uh, is like invading my internet feed YouTube, Twitter, everything. And I listened to a very interesting uh, podcast interview, whatever you want to call it, uh, where the late, great Dr. Lewis Joyland Jolly West, uh, what was the quote? A man who spent his life helping people. And I thought, wow. That's not a statement that I would use, but I didn't know him. So maybe I'm being unfair. Uh, however, I decided to step away from McGowan because, you know, people like to say that I'm McGowan pilled and PTK pilled. And I went ahead and uh, went through some of Aberration. Uh, Shout out to Dr. Wendy Painting, this book. I haven't finished it, but it is absolutely incredible. Uh, I really have no words. Uh, you and McGowan, I mean, really you, because she does take such a doctoral sort of thesis approach, and it's truly incredible. So I wanted to pull up on here with another screen the uh, FOIA documents. So there's a whole treasure trove about Dr. Jolly West, including his resume. The resume that is mentioned, I'm assuming, I'm saying I'm assuming, in this book uh, that Dr. Jolly West corresponded with the legal team for Timothy McVeigh, showing everywhere that he worked. So let me see if I can pull this up here. And I'm also going to show you guys one other thing, which is do, 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 um, the Senate committee hearing, uh, where it talks about some of the funding that Dr. Jolly West was receiving as well. So share screen and let's hope that I don't screw this up again. There we go. Okay. All right, let's share. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this. So, is it gonna let me zoom in? Beautiful. Okay, so we have over here, Lewis Joyland West, professor of psychiatry at the University of Oklahoma School of Medicine. And this is gonna get into his resume, which is obviously quite extensive. Now I am going to go over to this other page. So uh, any other fellow parapolitical folks out there uh, who know MK Ultra and all of its countless sub-projects, this is sub-project number 43. The principal researcher's name is redacted. Uh, if anyone is surprised, I'm here to tell you that uh, this is not anything new. She shows the University of Oklahoma. What are the objectives and details of the work? The study was to perform research in the field of psychology of the dissociated states of hypnosis. Research yielded promising leads in terms of knowledge of how hypnotizability can be influenced by pharmacological means. 
several unspecified drugs were identified that were apparently effective in speeding the in induction of hypnotic states and in deepening the trance that is produced in given subjects. Observations were also made of drugs, unspecified again, that provide some degree of immunity to hypnotic influence. Significant aspects, testing on human subjects, it is not stated in the file whether the subjects were volunteers or not. I think that that is very important. Okay, and then we've got uh, down here at the bottom the very last name, Mr. Sidney Gottlieb. And if you see right here, the cover mechanism, so that is, I don't want to mispronounce it, but I probably will, the Geschichter Foundation for Medical Research. I hope I'm saying that right. All right, let me stop sharing this and go back here. Okay, so anyone who is familiar with Dr. Sidney Gottlieb, there is a fantastic book out there. It's called Poisoner in Chief, and it is really the staple biography about his life. Um, and all of the, I would argue, crimes against humanity that were done in the name of national security, as everything that the intelligence community does. And Richard Helms was, Richard Helms ordered to Sidney Gottlieb to destroy all of the remaining MK Ultra files when lawsuits started coming out after what went on in Canada with Dr. Uh, Ewan, yeah, Dr. Ewan Cameron, um, all of the crimes there, which there are documentaries out there. You guys can see this stuff. I'm not really here to give a full breakdown of MK Ultra. That's that's way too much, and it's really not my bag. I mean, it is my bag, but I really don't want to get into that right now. So I want to pull up, because I found this quote so interesting. You know me. I love reading uh, really boring court records. So let me pull up the hearing for the MK Ultra Senate Committee. Where did it go? Sorry, guys. Give me a second. I want to make sure I have the right one. There we go. Because this quote just really did it for me. All right. And we're off. Okay. So if you guys look up here, it says human drug testing by the CIA, the 1977 hearings. So Dr. Geschichter, I'm going to see if I can highlight this. I can. Okay. I can only give you the report that came to me from Alan Dulles, and I will quote it. Thank God there is something decent coming out of our bag of dirty tricks. We are delighted. Now, what is he referring to? Dr. Geschichter primarily was focused on cancer research. So that was, you know, uh, the good that they were doing, according to Alan Dulles. Now, I'm not going to uh, read through all of this. You guys can see all my nice little tabs. And I don't want to use the presentation that I'm working on with Tony, on Zero Dark Tony, because um, that is specified for his audience. So you guys can go to his YouTube uh, and you should be able to see it there. I've only done one episode with the PowerPoint. So... See if I can adjust myself with this camera. All right. All right. And so I'm quoting Dr. Wendy Painting, Aberration in the Heartland of the Real, The Secret Lives of Timothy McVeigh. So, <laughs> where do I want to start? Here we go. However, even if rumors that Dr. West had some type of involvement with Sir Han are untrue, Sirhan Sirhan. The allegations are understandable given that another MK Ultra funded expert hypnotist who later worked directly under Dr. West at UCLA, Dr. William Kroger, bragged of having hypnotized Sirhan. Okay? And then she cites the book that that gentleman wrote. Again, I said that this was going to be brief. I'm not sitting here giving a dissertation. I'm just seeing a lot of one-sided uh, perspectives being talked about, about Dr. Jolly West. I understand if you have, uh, 
we all have our biases, right? I think that that's fair. Um, I'm not asking anybody to not uh, like someone because of something that I say. And, you know, do we throw the baby out with the bathwater? I don't know. That's a hard question to answer. Uh, I am very well versed in Operation Paperclip. I'm also very well versed in World War II and pre-World War II and the Weimar. So I know where a lot of the uh, medical uh, protocols that we use, including hypothermia post-CPR, those were from Nazi experiments. I'm well aware. So do we throw the baby out with the bathwater? It's a really hard ethical qu question to answer, but I don't feel like you can approach it in an honest way if you're not honest, especially if you have a big audience, about all of it, not just uh, someone who spent their life trying to help humanity. I would highly disagree. Um, I continue to see just kind of a barrage of stuff about uh, the joys of the late uh, Dr. Jolly West. So I am considering doing an entire series if you guys uh, can stand me not knowing what the hell I'm doing on here. Um, I want to do a false memory syndrome foundation kind of backstory, lay all of that out. I want to look at the board members. I would prefer to do it here on Twitter because on YouTube, I know that certain words can get your video taken down, like pedophile, Mr. Ralph Underwager and his wife, who interviewed with Padika, the pedophile uh, publication that was going around at the time. I don't want to have to censor myself. I think that these words should make people cringe and I should be able to say them because it's important because these were the people that were working together. Uh, I have my biases, right? <laughs> I, I think I made that pretty clear uh, in yesterday's stream. Uh, I, I have a very sore spot about False Memory Syndrome Foundation and the Satanic Panic narrative, and this is not directed at anyone. This is just me making a general blanket statement. Uh, but the the complete lack of honest evaluation of all of Jolly's work and not just apparently, which I have seen, he spoke out and was one of the first ones to speak out against Scientology. I really can't stand to listen to him, so I'm trying to get a hold of some of his writings. It's just me being transparent, but I see a ton of stuff out there that he was an early vocal advocate against Scientology um, and was evidently against the death penalty. Again, biases. Do we throw the baby out with the bathwater? Does that negate the harm that was done by the False Memory Syndrome Foundation? I don't think so. But that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I don't think that it's moral or ethical to wage psychological warfare on already traumatized children. And I'm going to have to do like an actual stream of the McMartin series. Uh, and I'm going to use Program to Kill, but I'm going to get a digital copy and I'm going to make a PowerPoint for that. That way everybody can see everything. That way I'm not sitting here rambling like a moron. And it's already been almost 15 minutes. So... I'm going to get off of here, okay? Um, I'm not going to post any of this in that document because I just don't really feel like it's relevant right now. And I'm not trying to alienate the audience that I am doing this project uh, for on this other show. I'm, I want to do this separately. This is me. This is all uh, my, my information, my resources. I'm telling you where I'm getting it. I'm going to try to put it together the best that I can, and eventually I will put clips and link the article of the individual who put out a substack and then a podcast less than 24 hours after I went on a platform and spoke about Dr. Jolly West and the False Memory Syndrome Foundation. 
So uh, is it weird timing? Is it a coincidence? Is it a conspiracy? Is it a theory? Who knows? We're going to find out. I do live in Florida and there are Scientologists everywhere. So we'll see. But thanks, guys. Appreciate it.